Hi friends, Tracy Bish here, your Stamping Up Demonstrator in Central Victoria, Australia. Welcome to my channel. Today's card is coming from the Global Monthly Video Hop group, where Stamping Up Demonstrators who get together every single month with a new theme. This month's theme is Casing the Catalog, and I have taken this card here from page 24 of the mini catalog. It's in the Bowels of Holly uh, Suite, and this is the card that we're going to create. I've gone with the Storybook Gnomes suite, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. So the few of the supplies that we're using are the bundle, the DSP, where you have the wonderful snowflake design um, elements, which are coming back from a previous catalogue, which is awesome. We have the colour scheme of Pacific Point and Basic White. The stylish shaped eyes I must have in any craft room. I use them a tonne. And I've also got those sparkle and shine sequins just to add a little bit more glitter. Now you can find all the measurements for today's card in over on my blog. There is a link to that blog post in the description of this video. I just want to also say too, this is a video hop. So you can find in the description the links to all the demonstrators who are taking part in this blog hop. Please go over and check their videos out. Leave them a comment, give them a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit subscribe, you could do that as well. So we're starting off with a piece of this DSP. It measures the same width as our, our card base. We're going to do a little bit of die cutting with that largest circle as well as that banner cut. So we're going to bring the mini out. Because these dies are pretty small, we're going to be able to pop them through the mini. So our circle is on basic white cardstock and we're going to run the banner through with the Pacific Point. So I have a big piece of Pacific Point, but you don't just use your scraps because this is a really great card for your scraps. So once we have those two done, we are going to move on. This card comes together so super fast and I, I just really love it. So there's not a lot of stamping on this card. They, we are doing heat embossing and if you've been following me, you know that's my favourite technique. I try to heat emboss just about every card that I do. Alright, so we have our card there. Let's start layering some of our elements together. Quickly, with these wonderful snowflakes, they pop out really easily. You just have to be really mindful that you don't pull any pieces off. But keep hold of all that outer pieces. You can die cut from, you can punch from them, um, make extra snowflakes, whatever you would like to do. So you can do that. All right, so we're going to bring in, I'm just showing you the, 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 the pieces that we're going to cut from. And this is really quick to fussy cut. I did cut this out because I don't think you need to see me cut out four or well, two, two snow, they're not snowmen, two gnomes and uh, two deers or a moose and a deer. I'm not really sure. We don't have them in Australia, so I think one's a moose and one's a deer. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so once we have them, they're as cute little animals on that DSP as well, so you can change it around a little bit as well. All right, so we have those ready to go. We can start layering our card together. We're going to use liquid adhesive to add our DSP down to our card base. We're also going to add with uh, the liquid adhesive that circle die. And I really liked the look of the circle die in the middle and then the two elements on the top and bottom. I thought this look was a really great little sketch, so I might have to use that as a sketch one day. We're also going to use our snowflakes... Um, we're popping a mini glue dot in the middle of each of those. I'm using mini glue dots to attach both my moose and deer and my gnomes. But if you prefer the liquid glue, you could do those as well. So as we're popping these together, just want to let you know, you can purchase any of the supplies I'm using on today's card over my blog, over on my, in my online store. There is a link to that online store in the description of this video. Please use the hostess code. I have some wonderful benefits of anyone who shops with me. They get a handmade card every month, it changes, and a bundle tutorial. And if you spend over $100 in product before shipping, you also get a Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle as a free gift. So, um, some great inspiration there for you. Okay, so we're just adding a little bit of um, liquid glue to the back of those and sticking those down. We can stamp our sentiment now. I'm using Versamark ink. There's a few sentiments that you could use, but the warm wishes, I thought, I love that idea of warm wishes. And I think my Christmas cards will have that warm wishes on there because we'll be in summer. 
So we're just going to stamp that with the Versamark ink. I'm using the the white embossing powder, which is part of the basics uh, embossing powders. And we're going to hit that with the heat tool. So you just want to make sure that that powder goes nice and glossy and melts completely. And then we can start um, popping some dimensionals on the back of that and putting it together. So really quite a simple card, a very, um, a very much a case from that catalogue. I've I've done the exact same thing that the Stamping Up demonst that the Stampin' Up has done for the catalogue. The only thing missing is uh, a ribbon. I've used the wonderful snowflakes instead. So change your things around. It's always great to use the inspiration that Stamping Up has. So don't forget, you can go and check out everyone else's videos in this video hop by clicking the links in the description. Please go and check them out because they'll do some amazing things. Oh, and as I'm talking, I forgot that we're putting sequins down. Now to place your sequins down, I just add a little drop of the liquid adhesive. I'm using the Take My Pick tool. This tool is wonderful in placing sequins. It picks it up with the little putty tool. You can also take the end off the other side and use that spatula to um, hold them in place as you pull the putty up, but really easy. All right, so there we have our card. So I'm showing you that card again as the reference that I've cased from. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. If you haven't hit subscribe, do that as well. And I look forward to uh, giving you a little bit more inspiration in the very near future. Enjoy your day, everyone. Bye-bye.